I remember the very first uh, Broadway show that I remember seeing, not in person, but uh, on PBS, was, uh, was Ain't Misbehaving. I saw, it was the first time that I ever saw Nell Carter, Ken Page, um, the rest of the cast, uh, Andre De Shields. Uh, I, I loved the entire cast, but I remember loving the fact that I'd seen Nell Carter on TV, but I'd never seen her on stage and that voice. And then Andre De Shields. I'd never seen anyone like him move. I'd never seen anyone move like him. I'd never seen that confidence in his skin and, and, who, and who he was. Um, I fell in love with the music. It, it made me think that this thing that I'd only seen done in white shows like, um, like Oklahoma or Seven Brides for Seven Brothers or, or West Side Story, I actually saw musical theater done by people that looked like me and singing these amazing songs that really touched me. So I think that was really part of the, the movement uh, personally for me to want to pursue musical theater. That and then Ben Vereen uh, in Pippin, seeing a videotape of Ben in Pippin and then, and then, uh, and then it, it was a done deal. It was like, well, that's, that's what I've got to do. That has to happen. I, another Broadway moment was I saw Robert Guillaume in Phantom. For years, there were shows that I think were thought of as off limits for black performers, like Phantom, Les Mis. You can't be, be the Phantom. The Phantom's not black. Well, it's a piece of fiction. Who's to say that the Phantom couldn't be black? And once again, my early exposure to Robert Guillaume was through Benson and through Soap. So to see this man sing, sing, and beautifully capture this rich character that had become iconic with that mask, that, that was truly inspirational for me. So those are a few of the moments that uh, touched me, not just as a performer, but I think as a black performer, as a black man, and made me want to pursue my dream no, long, no matter how long it took. Broadway has been called the great white way. Maybe not so much anymore. And that's a good thing because it's open for everyone. And that's why I love Broadway.